I'm born in the triangle of borders between Germany, uh, the Netherlands and Belgium. Perhaps the most Europeanized region in Europe. If you make a walk there, uh, you never know if you are in Germany or already in the Netherlands or still in Belgium. I was in my civil life uh, librarian and uh, I tried to convince people to read and especially to read about other cultures and nations. I read every day. It's, people don't believe me, but it is true. I read every evening something. Since 32 years I write every day a diary, every day one page. So I can uh, look back to my life uh, from December 82. And so from the early morning until the late night, I meet people. Uh, I try to keep uh, the very heterogeneous structure of the European Parliament together with uncountable phone calls, emails, chats on the floor, uh, small meetings here, uh, adopting binding law for 500 million citizens in 28 countries. This is unique in the world. No other parliament adopts binding laws for 500 million people from 28 countries. Fascinating project because you have to take into account different cultures, different traditions, also different legal traditions, different languages. The most funny story in the European Parliament was I met a, a Scottish colleague who spoke to me in English and I understood nothing. The only word I understood was Bundesbank. <laughs> I understood. And I went to another colleague and said, uh, I understood nothing, but an Englishman and said, don't be worried, me too. So <laughs> My mother uh, told me when I was a, a boy and a young man, things you can buy are not important. Only those things you can't buy are important. Love, solidarity, health. Money is an instrument, but should never be the basis of our social life together. And uh, the most fundamental value in my life and what I learned from my parents and what I try to bring back from Brussels at home is respect. Everybody has a right to be respected. Solidarität, Freiheit, Frieden. Europa ist unsere Zukunft. Es hängt von uns ab.